The mission of the Surf P is to deploy in support of local, state, and federal entities in providing consequence management for a seaburn event. In particular, we provide capabilities for search and extraction, mass decontamination, medical triage and stabilization. We have a joint incident command suite and we have a fatality search and recovery team. The surf piece stands ready to support. Uh, we have a six hour recall and uh, it's, an, it, it's an all volunteer force. You know, that, that's what's awesome about today's military is an all volunteer force ready to support uh, you know, the stateside mission. The C2 focuses primarily on planning, coordinating, and sustaining the entire surf P. We focus primarily on the coordination between the elements and the communication within our staff, and then how we coordinate and communicate that information to our higher headquarters. Well, as search and extraction, we're the we're the most dangerous job within within this uh, within surf P. We're down there searching for uh, victims, and we're trying to rescue them. You know, it's always good to get out here and get good training in. Um, obviously, you never know what could happen, when it could happen, or where it could happen. So, so any time that we can come out and get, get some training done, um, the soldiers get out here and get some training done, it, it's one thing to, obviously, a lot of what we do sometimes is conceptual, right? So it's good to be able to come out here and actually put foot to ground um, and actually get some, 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 some live work done. Okay, so the decon element is here to provide uh, decontamination uh, in an event of a hazardous material or a weapons of mass destruction event. And we provide uh, cleaning up of personnel in order to get them to medical triage as quickly as possible. Our teams come in and each element is responsible for setting up what, what, what we call a footprint. Um, so we, it doesn't matter if you are a doctor or a medic or you're our logistics guy, we're all here setting up these tents, pulling out the equipment um, out of trailers that we bring in. Uh, and it is, uh, it's uh, quite an event just to get our, our treatment tent set up to be able to receive casualties. The objective of the Fatality Search and Recovery is to support the local uh, medical examiner or coroner to, in a mass fatality or mass uh, event to help to get the local community back to normal as soon as possible. And by what we do is we help the local medical examiner or local coroner, we help them uh, remove remains or whatever they need from our support so that the community can get to the new normal or whatever it closest it can get to. Are you ready? The gist, we have several components. Basically, it's all the communications needs of the commander and the C2 elements to reach out to the other C2 or the other surf P elements as well as our civilian counterpart. So what we have here is a SAC, ground SACCOM antenna dish. What we're actually here for is to get communications for the site from space. So we're gonna bring down C4I, which is command, control, computers, and internet. So this whole site is reliant on us for outside communications if our landlines are down in the event of emergency. So we're gonna set up Wi-Fi, we're gonna set up phones, DSN phones, as well as some hard lines for users that need it. Well, we're a very unique uh, organization. We're a dual uh, missioned uh, military force. We have a federal mission to support our nation in terms of uh, uh, supporting our, uh, our armed forces and uh, fighting our nation's wars. We're also a state force and we provide uh, support to our governor and the citizens of the Commonwealth in times of need, whether it's responding to events like uh, hurricanes or tornadoes or something of that nature. And the Surf P is one element of that. 
and it supports uh, initially uh, state missions where we have emergencies, whether that's natural disaster to man-made disasters, and uh, they can respond to that and provide uh, support to local authorities. It could also expand and go to a federal mission if it's a, uh, a disaster that uh, is, is a regional uh, crisis. So uh, it's, it's basically a Suburney uh, response force. So uh, from that perspective, both federal, state, it's a great, uh, it's a great mix.